So I've been telling my friends about this support for PLA Pet G that I got from Bamboo Labs. Um, I think it's fantastic. He went out and he bought some. Uh, what He wasn't quite sure how to use it. So he was looking up on YouTube, couldn't find a video on it. So he asked me for some help. So here's a quick tutorial. So you need to make sure that it's loaded up. You can click that button to load it. Um, once it's loaded into your AMS, then you can click that button to sync over um, all of your uh, filament. Once it pops up in there, so in number slot number four is where I have it um, installed, um, then you can go over to your global settings, make sure your supports are turned on. I've tried both tree supports and standard supports with this. Honestly, I prefer the standard supports over the tree supports. I think it just works a little bit better. You put the support interface to that support filament. It'll pop up that thing. It'll go and automatically adjust like the Z, top Z distance and a bunch of other settings. I always click yes and just stick with the settings that it changes and it always turns out fantastic. Here in, um, in the preview, um, you can go down through the layers and you can see where it's going to print that support material. So in this model, there's basically three spots that it's going to print it. And then here it is printing. So I slowed it down on the layers, on two of the three layers where it's printing it. But because it's it just doesn't stick to the PLA, it'll print super tight and um, you don't have to do anything. Um, so here's a, a couple of examples of times that I've used it. Um, it's It doesn't just fall off or anything, but uh, it comes off relatively easily. You can see how clean that bottom layer is compared to printing without the support filament. It just when you use that support filament, it can print so tight, it is just so clean. I love it. I just love how clean the bottom of the models are when I use it. So there you go. That's how I use that support filament.